What's going on everybody? It's your boy Pump coming at y'all from Texas on this load. And I just want to make a real important video about using perceived problems as opportunities. Now I'm gonna get into what I mean by this, but I'm gonna first start off by relating what made me want to make this video. Now, in life, when things don't go your way, especially when it involves a lot of things like you investing your money and your time into something and the shit don't go through like it's supposed to you can kind of expect that it's going to be hard to not be irritated not feel some type of way be kind of hard to talk to because you're stuck on this one thing we all go through that in our lives it's it's something that you shouldn't look at yourself as um like emotionally unstable because of these things it's just you can't help but to be that way when you invested these things that you have to work to get back like time you can't get time back money you can get money back but it's going to take more hard work it's going to take more brainstorming and thinking so for me what made me want to make this video is you know i got a car at home and um, everybody knows that I bought a motor for this car that's been sitting there for a while. And, you know, the motor was getting shipped to this place I was gonna get to put it in for me. Now, I had done bought all the things I wanted to get this car nice again, because it kind of got dogged out. So I bought the carpet to replace in it. I bought, you know, new headlights for it i bought all the shit that was messed up with it and some other stuff that i just wanted for it to be you know more pleasing to ride made the experience of being in it better and you know i was really looking forward to all this and the guy tells me the other day hey the motor showed up but the motherfucker is leaking oil so he sends it back so that's a thousand dollars from the motor that i'm having to get refunded back to me because the motor ain't gonna work then I talked to a Jeep guy, you know, it was a Jeep. And he basically told me like, hey man, you know, he knows all about Jeeps. He's like, hey man, that's cool you're getting a motor for it, but with the mileage and where it's at, expect to have to put another transmission in it not too long after getting that motor. And so that also got me like, well shit, you know, that's gonna be another something dollars, just not even just to get the transmission, but to get that put in as well. It's gonna be so much money. And I wasn't really tripping about it, but today it kind of got brought up to me and it reminded me of this problem that I have, right? That I have to deal with. It reminded me that I have this problem at home, which is this fucking vehicle, right? I, with all this money I done put into it, it, I went from having so much money in the a savings account to having back down to a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Because I was getting shit ready for this Jeep and I was getting other stuff you know, that I want a person. And it just, I, you know, I got real irritated about it. And um, somebody was talking to me about it and I just, you could tell by the way I was talking, I just could, I just didn't want to talk. You know, not that I didn't want to talk about it no more, but if I kept talking about it, I was going to bring that person down too. Because it's just a waste. You know what I'm saying? A total waste of money, time, effort. Just a total fucking waste of this thing. And... For a little bit, I was irritated about it. I was kind of in a shitty mood for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, my mindset changed. You know, I had some money in the bank that I put into my savings. And she told me I had this much money in my savings now. And I was still kind of irritated because I'm like, damn, that's like half of what I had, you know, in the savings. What the fuck, you know, but whatever. And then something hit me about five minutes ago before I started this video. Something hit me, man, that made me really look at it a different way and kind of get my mindset back on track something I can relate to it reminded me that I have a chance to build this back better than what it was before it reminded me that I have a chance to have something nicer than what I was about to have some of these things I ordered I can return them and get my money back and put that in my savings you know some of these things I can return back, I can get most of my money back. Can I get all my money back? No, because some of these things are something I'm gonna put in a vehicle anyway. Some things that, like a subwoofer. I wanted to get a subwoofer. I have an amp, I wanted to get a sub. I 
gonna keep that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep that, but other money, I'm gonna return my things and get it back. And I started looking at all my invoices that I haven't been paid for yet and realized, oh, I got this much money in unpaid invoices. And I've got guaranteed work for the next couple months. My mind started shifting to turning this into an opportunity to grow and to get better and to think what can I make out of this that's going to make my future better. Yeah, I may have spent all this money and put all this time into getting this stuff, maybe, but maybe this is what had to happen. You know, maybe every, you know, everything ain't gonna go the way you think it is. Sometimes things are gonna get fucked up. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it, but it's all determined on what you decide to do with it. I just left the problem alone. I said, you know what? I'm gonna quit thinking about this shit. I'm gonna think about it later. I'm just not gonna think about it right now because it's just, you know, irritating me thinking about what I'm what am I gonna do with this Jeep at home that I, I ain't gonna use what am I gonna do with it am I gonna part it out you know am I gonna what am I gonna do with it am I gonna keep it I'm at I'm, I'm at I'm at a, at a standstill with it you know I'm kind of behind the gun on it but I just say you know what fuck it it's not imperative that I take action on this thing right now just leave it alone let it be you know so it's just for me now i was sitting there thinking man my bank account when i get it back to that number i can keep making it go and running it up and you're gonna have thoughts when the station is closed that are gonna bother you you're gonna have thoughts that are gonna bother you like yeah, thoughts that was bothering me. things that was bothering me was like man i just want to have something to drive when i go home i just want to have something to pick the ladies up when i'm at home not my work man i want to have something to drive to the beach with my dog and take him out take my my dog out with me and go somewhere with it where he can sit in there and be cool just want something that's mine you know and that thoughts like that hinder you from being able to look at it as an opportunity because you're looking at this as a as a problem it's just something that's that's right here right now that's an issue but i just now I'm, i decided you know what i'm gonna take this as an opportunity to build back again see i used to play these games man when i was younger I used to like playing these games where you had to hustle to work your way up. I like playing these games where you had a character and you had to, you know, you had the options to make them what you want. Make them strong, weak, rich, poor. You know, when something was slacking, you could you could do something. I really liked The Sims. When I was little, I liked playing The Sims. That shit was dope. Because he, this was my character. I could make him how I want to be. All I had to do was put in the work, make them do things that are gonna put in the work. And I think this had some kind of effect on my mind coming up. Not a drastic effect, but this put my mind into looking at things of an improving it way. Because seeing as you can do that in a game and improve it, it's like, okay, in real life, I know what I have to do to get better in certain things. I know what I have to do in these situations to get better. If I wanna get stronger, I gotta go to the gym. If I wanna improve my mindset, I gotta read books. And listen to content that's going to make you know, thought-provoking content something that's going to plant a seed if i want to get more proficient in the skill i got to practice that skill and study things and other people who got good at that if i want to move up in my work i got to go to go to work and work hard this day i remember there was a thing in the sims where you could send your sim to work and you could decide to make him go to work and perform how you wanted him to if you decided to take it easy that day, your sim would come home less stressed, you know, more energy and all this. But if you decided to make him go to work and work hard, you would have these, your sim would be more tired. He'd have these negative little, you'd have these things on here that it would say, your sim, like say, is frustrated. That would bring his mood down, right? And it would last for X amount of hours until that thing would go away. And then your shit would kind of, you'd, you'd gain that back. And then this is in real life. It's like, holy shit, this is like real life because I can decide to go to work and work hard. Sitting up here on the right. And I might be more tired at the end of the day, but I'll move up in my work. You have the decision everywhere to think of things how you want to think of them, look at them how you want. But the worst thing you can do is decide that you're going to preserve something. You're going to preserve yourself because, you know, Oh, I don't want to be frustrated. I don't want to be tired. It's like, well, that's the best thing for you sometimes. 
that's what's going to make you move up and work. That's going to make that's what's going to make you get the reps in the gym and get stronger. That's what's going to make you better overall is you taking the time to sacrifice this. If you look at something as an opportunity to get better, you may you know you may work out that morning and have to go to work and you might be tired at work all day, but you still got it in that day. You still use that opportunity to get it in. You still looked at that perceived problem as, oh, I'm gonna to go to work tired, and you looked at it as an opportunity as I'm gonna to be tougher because of this. I'm going to be able to prevail through unideal situations, unideal circumstances and variables in this situation that even if something's hard, I'll progressively be able to handle harder shit over time, which will make me useful in future circumstances. So I'm gonna say that again. Say I go to the gym. I go to the gym one day. Sorry about that. I go to the, for y'all who have headphones. Rest in peace, because I know they just killed your fucking ear. If I decide to work out in the morning and then go to work and say I'm tired all day, that makes me able to be able to go harder in unideal situations. When I'm tired, I know. Well, I've done this before. Tired. I know I can handle it now. When more variables of resistance are pushed and pushed against you and you still prevail then next time you're going to be stronger to handle even harder situations and some people look at that as a problem but that's an opportunity to grow man look at problems as opportunities look as a, as a perceived problem as an opportunity to grow this is something I've, I've kept in my head for a long time and sometimes it's hard to think of it that way i know for me personally when you get in such a, a shit mood about something you don't even, you know, you'll say something and you'll be like, ugh. Like you'll say, man, I'm just gotta look at this as an opportunity. You can barely even say it because you're so pissed off. You'll say it and it'll be like, oh, I just gotta look at this as an opportunity to grow. You'll do like that, you will be like, ugh. Let, give it a little time, man. Give it a little time, you know what I'm saying? Give yourself a little time to simmer the fuck down, figure it out. Don't make any decisions that are important when you're in this mood. Don't make any important decisions because you can just be like, you know what, fuck that car. Fuck it. I don't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You can start returning all that shit. Fuck it, I'm returning all that shit. And then come to find out, maybe a week later, somebody hits you up, hey man, somebody you connected with earlier. Like that dude I told you about that told me it wouldn't be worth getting the transmission in. Maybe that motherfucker calls you a week or two later and says, hey bro, I got a motor. Oh, you done sold the Jeep? Oh, I got a motor right here for it. I got a motor right here for it, and it's good. So don't be so quick to make decisions when you're in that mood. You know what I'm saying? Just carry on, handle whatever you're handling. Let that shit get off your mind. Let the emotional aspect of that of that occurrence, let the emotional part of it kind of fade away. Let it burn away from your memory so you can make a logical decision, all right? This is what men do. Men don't go and see something that's gotta be done and then they go, oh man, well it's gonna be hard, this is gonna be fucked up. People like that, they make, they, they rush the decision. They say, no, I'm not gonna do that, no, I'm not gonna do that, because they think about it. They think about how it's gonna make them feel. They think about how they feel already. Then they fuck off something that could, that could blossom later. So, me thinking of what I'm gonna do with the Jeep, fuck, just, just don't even think about it, because it's not imperative that I have to do something about this right now. Just leave the motherfucker alone, it's been sitting there for this long, let it sit there. Let it sit there, let it collect dust, whatever it's gonna be. Yeah, it sucks that you put the money into it, but it's a lesson learned. It's like my dad told me earlier, hey, it's a lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? You learn something, you just learn something else. You know, you learn what can happen. You know, if you feel like something could go wrong in a situation, there's probably a good possibility that it's gonna go wrong. It's not, it's not all clean cut and dry. Some shit is gonna have problems coming with it. You have to learn to see, okay, this is a, probably gonna be a problem. If it is, I'm gonna learn to be, use this as an opportunity. And it's gonna be hard at first, but the more you train this muscle, the more useful and the more often you're gonna, you're gonna go right to that thinking. Use it as an opportunity, use it as an opportunity. And then the more you exercise that, the quicker it's going to come to think that way. It's gonna come a point where as soon as you have that problem, you're gonna think, okay, well, this is what I'll do. Like at first when it happened, I was in a decent mood. I was like, you know what, whatever. It is what it is. I told somebody about it, I was like, yeah, but it's whatever though. And then I got to thinking about it more today, a different day, and 
the sun's in a different, you know what I'm saying? The, the moon's in a different phase right now. The sun's in a different fucking angle right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm at a different, you know, it's a different day, a different time, a different, different everything, right? But the thing you have to keep the same is your outlook. You have to always look at it in a good way. You have to look at it as, am I going to, you? am I going to get pissed off and be all mad? You know, be like, fuck this. Or am I going to go, all right, what do I got to do? How am I going to do this? When I first learned this concept, it wasn't exactly this, but it was when I, I listened to the audiobook Rich Dad, Poor Dad, when I was working one day. I listened to that shit on repeat at work when I was about 17, doing masonry work. And he talked about how, you know, someone who's poor, they'll think, oh, I can't afford that. But the rich person or the person that's about getting money is going to say, how can I afford that? What do I have to do to get that? How can I afford that? That really got my mind thinking. And then, you know, got somebody like Wes Watson saying the same thing. But as, you, as far as looking at problems as opportunities to grow and other things. And it just goes to show you, man, like, it's all about how you think about it. It's the question that you pose. Is it a... You know, is it a is it a statement? Oh man, I can't afford that. Or is it a question? How am I going to afford that? There were two different mindsets to look at, so you have to train your mind to think of it that way. So that's basically the thing of this video, man. That's the message of this video, man. Train your mind to see opportunities within problems, opportunities to grow. So that being said, I'm out. Hope y'all got something from that video. Pray for me.